Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're on another Asian basic meal and we are gonna make panzit, panzit, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but I showed you on episode one, one of the things I keep in my pantry, along with a bunch of other things, and that was this packet. And this packet has all the seasoning you need for this amazing Filipino noodle stir fry. Now the reason why I'm using a packet, because I'm usually pretty snobby to packets and seasonings like this, but my Filipino friend uses this. So if it's okay for a Filipino woman to use, it is okay with me. There's one thing I changed in the episode one. I showed you some noodles I use, and they're, like, they're an egg noodle, and they're in little nests. That's what I usually use for my panzit. But when I was at this new Asian market that I went to for the first time, they have this brand um, called Excellent Brand. And these are flower sticks and they say right below, panzit canton. What canton means is a pre-cooked noodle. So these noodles have already been cooked and they're gonna be much easier to go into my sauce. So let's try to get this going and I'm gonna show you this simple, simple dish that you are gonna love. I'm using shrimp, the recipe says use shrimp, but you could also use, you know, you can do like I did in that um, episode before this where I used leftover pulled pork. No one even knew it was leftover pulled pork. So you can you know, use some leftover meats or don't put meat in it at all. That's fine, tofu would work good too. Okay, we're gonna start by putting one tablespoon of oil in. All we are doing is following the directions. So, um, yeah. I am using, though, the stir-fry oil. Um, normally I wouldn't, I just, I don't even know why I have this, but I, I've got about a tablespoon in there and I just wanna get rid of it. So I'm just using this. It's got seasonings of garlic, onion, and herbs for high heat cooking, that's what it says. Um, so, I'm just gonna put all this in our pan. I can smell the garlic. This is my one of my amazing all-clad pans. Um, super happy with this brand. We're gonna add to this one clove of garlic and some chopped up onions. I use green onions. And we're gonna saute this for a couple minutes. Try not to have your garlic burn. You can always pull it off the heat if you're feeling that um, it's a little too hot. I'm working with gas, so it's very easy to control my temperature, but if you're using an electric oven stove combo, it's not as easy to control the temperature. Just one more minute. Right now I'm on a um, medium high heat. I see my garlic just getting slightly brown. We're gonna to go to the next step and we're gonna add our shrimp. That's gonna cool down the pan so our garlic will quit burning. In just a couple minutes, we're gonna get this shrimp cooked up here. I'm turning it up a bit because I do not want the shrimp to release their juices and then um, we'll have kind of like boiled vegetables in there. You know, we want this to saute, not to boil or stew, is the word I'm looking for. We do not want it to stew, so I turned it up. Our chances for the garlic burning are less now that we have the shrimp in here. You see, I have no juices, so every, anything that's being released from the shrimp is being evaporated, and that's what we want. The next step is counterintuitive to me, and that is to, I'm going to add the water and the seasoning packet. Normally, I would put my vegetables in and then season, but I'm just following the directions here. You don't have to. This is a one pot meal, so we're gonna add, it says two cups of water, but for right now, I'm putting one cup in in my seasoning packet. And we're gonna let this cook and we're gonna bring this to a boil. Get 
those seasonings all in there. You don't want to have the shrimp all the way cooked through because it's still cooking, you know, so you add the water before it's cooked through. And we're going to let that come to a boil. And I think just because I'm using some carrots, didn't really call for carrots since carrots take a while. I'm going to add those in. I tried to cut them with my uh, food processor as thin as I could. It probably would have been better if I used grated carrots or julienne. Okay, now we're going to go with the next step. And I have decided I'm putting all that liquid in. It needs it. Now we'll let it come to a boil again. We're going to put our cabbage in. I'm using a Napa cabbage. It's much more like a lettuce. Um, you could actually use it in salad. Um, these pieces are a bit um, big, but um, Napa cabbage is very nice. And usually you buy a whole head of it. And... Uh, it's going to wilt down. It's like, how the heck am I, am I going to get my um, noodles in here cooking? So it's a good thing, you know, the other noodles work just fine. Actually, I need my, I need my tongs. What was I thinking? It says allow to cook for two minutes, but I think I'm going to let it cook a couple extra minutes. Sometimes I serve this hot. Other times, I put it in the fridge and serve it as a cold salad. It's up to you. All right, we've got a lot of um, our goodies cooking down. I'm going to throw in some peas. It just says vegetables, so you put in what you want, what you have. And now for our noodles. So pre-cooked noodles should not take as long to cook. I'm just kind of breaking them up a bit. It's a little awkward trying to incorporate them in and just try to get some of the sauce. You want to get them in the sauce. They need to get some of those vegetables up top so that these can get in the sauce. Easier said than done, right? Keep kind of flipping. They'll get in there. I'm breaking them up. There, they're getting in there now. Maybe I should have broke them up. So turn it down just slightly. We're back to that medium high. Wow, that looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah, these noodles definitely are nice. And they're made for this, this dish, since they're pre-cooked. Okay. So at this point, it's ready to serve hot. Before we serve it, we're gonna take some boiled eggs. Oh, look at those gorgeous yolks. Those almost look fake. They're so beautiful. Turn it off. Do you have to garnish with egg? No, but it does add a yumminess to it and a creamy texture with the yolks. I mean, it, it doesn't it make it look even more exotic. And then I am using a combination of cilantro and green onion for on top. Um, you can choose to leave this out um, or not. It's up to you. And then on the side, I will have I will serve this also with little extra onion and cilantro for people who want more. Obviously, some uh, chili garlic sauce or sriracha is going to be on the table. Limes and more cilantro. Let's plate this up. Oh. Wow, I'm so glad it's dinner time too. It's 6.45, so perfect. Get another little egg there. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna try it without any lime, without any sriracha or chili garlic. And we're gonna see how it tastes. Give me a shrimp in there. Mmm. 
So easy. Definitely for me. I need some chili garlic sauce. You can use soy sauce. Um, I don't think it needs salt though, so I wouldn't use soy sauce. Um, but chili garlic sauce will bring us over the top as well as some lime. It's gonna be fabulous. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for you. Try this quick recipe. You will love it. You can even buy already pre-cut up vegetables to make your life easier. And don't forget to subscribe below, give me a thumbs up or a comment.